alcohol had been destroying mom for decades. And by the time anyone realized it, it was really just too late. Over time, alcoholism damages every system, organ, and tissue in the body. Although alcoholics of both sexes suffer medical problems, they appear sooner and escalate faster in women than men because of biological differences. Women's bodies are smaller, contain more fat and less water, and produce different hormones and enzymes than men's. As a result, women metabolize alcohol more slowly, so its toxins remain in their bodies longer and do greater damage. Alcoholic women's death rate is 50 to 100 percent higher than alcoholic men's. The gastrointestinal system is one of the first affected by drinking, especially in women. Alcohol irritates the esophagus, stomach, and intestines, causing heartburn, gas, bloating, constipation, and diarrhea. Irritation can also lead to painful lesions, internal bleeding, and even fatal hemorrhaging. Eventually, an alcoholic's body cannot extract crucial nutrients, vitamins, and minerals from food. Advanced-staged alcoholics develop some of the same nutrition-related conditions as people dying from starvation. My mother was typical. From the time I was small, she complained of heartburn and took antacids every day. For decades, she had irritable bowel syndrome. In her final months, she could barely digest any food at all. She usually vomited or had diarrhea shortly after eating. She grew painfully thin and listless. The reproductive system is also quickly affected by drinking. Women who drink even moderately can develop menstrual disorders, including irregular cycles, heavy flow, and severe cramping. Drinking suppresses ovulation and hormone production making it more difficult to get pregnant and increasing the odds of miscarriage and birth defects. Mom also experienced menstrual problems early on. Her periods came so frequently, her bleeding was so heavy, and her cramps so severe that she had a hysterectomy at the age of 34. The endocrine and exocrine glands produce hormones that control essential bodily processes the thyroid and parathyroid regulate heart function in the body's use of calcium. An underactive thyroid leads to weight gain, lack of energy, poor memory, and even brittle bones. The hypothalamus regulates sleep, blood pressure, heart rate, and body temperature. Poor hypothalamic function causes insomnia, high blood pressure, and chronic chilliness. The hypothalamus, pituitary, and adrenal glands form the HPA axis, which controls the body's reaction to stress. In alcoholics, the HPA axis produces too much of the stress hormone cortisol, which leads to psychological problems and also to physical disorders. My mother suffered almost every one of these endocrine and exocrine-related disorders. By the age of 30, she had chronic insomnia and had become addicted to sleeping pills. By 35, she had an underactive thyroid. By 40, she had high blood pressure. She suffered depression for decades and in the last years of her life had frequent panic attacks. She also developed Cushing's syndrome. Her once beautiful face grew bloated and her thick curly hair went limp and started to fall out. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for women, especially African Americans. And alcoholic women develop heart damage much sooner and after less exposure to alcohol than men. Many alcoholics develop serious heart conditions. The heart can enlarge and beat sluggishly, and fluid can build up around it. Many alcoholics die of heart attacks and congestive heart failure. Alcohol also damages the blood vessels, causing them to harden and accumulate plaque. 
This constricts blood flow and leads to high blood pressure and stroke. Even the blood itself is affected by drinking. An alcoholic's red blood cells swell and become sludgy. They can clump together and block small blood vessels, impeding the delivery of oxygen to organs and tissues, causing them to die. Mom also suffered cardiac and circulatory problems as a result of drinking. In addition to high blood pressure, she had an irregular heartbeat and complained of chest pain. It's likely that she died of a heart attack or a stroke. Even the lungs are affected by drinking. Because alcoholics frequently inhale food and vomit, they develop more lung infections, including pneumonia, than non-alcoholics. Alcoholics also produce less of a protein that prevents fluid buildup in the lungs. They suffer double to triple the rate of acute respiratory distress syndrome as non-alcoholics, especially if they also smoke. Again, mom proved typical. She drank for more than 35 years and smoked for more than 40. She had a hacking cough for as long as I can remember. Approximately two years before she died, she was diagnosed with COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, an incurable and often fatal lung disease. The liver is one of the body's most important organs. It filters toxins from the blood and produces bile and enzymes that aid digestion. As most people know, alcohol is extremely toxic to the liver. An alcoholic's liver quickly becomes fatty and operates less efficiently. Over time, the liver tissue inflames, scars, and dies. Women also suffer liver damage much sooner than men. Liver failure is fatal and is one of the leading causes of alcoholic women's high death rate. At the age of 39, my mother learned that she had already suffered permanent liver damage from drinking, and her abdomen grew bloated as her liver lost the ability to process fluid and it collected inside of her. The kidneys produce enzymes that regulate blood pressure and hormones that regulate the production of blood cells. With the liver, they also filter toxins from the blood. Alcohol suppresses enzyme and hormone production and damages kidney tissue. Severe damage causes kidney failure, which is also fatal. My mother was susceptible to urinary tract infections, which might indicate that her kidney function was weakened by her drinking. In one of our final conversations, she told me that for several weeks, her urine had been pink a sign that she was passing blood. She may have had a chronic kidney infection, or her overworked, damaged kidneys may have been failing and breaking down. The toxins in alcohol attack muscle tissue, causing it to atrophy or waste away. My mother was once a strong woman, but in her final months, she was so weak that when I took her to court or an appointment, I had to help her get in and out of the car and go up and down steps. She used a cane, but was still shaky on her feet. An advanced alcoholic cannot absorb nutrients like calcium and vitamin D that are required to make and maintain healthy bone. Alcoholic women lose up to half of their bone mass and frequently develop osteoporosis. Their bones become porous and brittle and break easily. Alcoholic women suffer far more broken bones than non-alcoholics, especially of the hip and vertebrae. Both types of breaks are extremely painful and debilitating. Approximately four years before she died, my mother fell at home and severely fractured her spine. The fracture left her in constant, excruciating pain. Even simple tasks like bathing, dressing, preparing meals, and cleaning up became almost impossible for her. The central nervous system includes the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Among its many functions, the nervous system controls movement, balance, and coordination. Alcohol is toxic to the nervous system. As anyone who's been drunk knows, 
too much alcohol disturbs balance and coordination. In chronic alcoholics, these disturbances become permanent and irreversible. By the summer of 2007, my mother's nervous system was severely damaged. Her sense of balance was poor and she walked with a shuffle. She wore slacks and long sleeves even in stifling weather to hide the severe bruises that covered her body from bumping into things and falling down. Nerves also carry information between the brain and the sensory organs and structures of sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Over time, all of the senses deteriorate. With sight, focus blurs, colors appear dull, and peripheral vision narrows. With hearing, sounds seem muffled and their origin is unclear. Smell and taste also fade, making it difficult to tell if food has gone bad. Before she died, mom complained that there was something wrong with her eyes. Without warning, her vision would go out of focus so badly that she could not read newsprint or street signs. In court, she could not make out what the judge and attorney said and asked me to repeat it. Worst of all, she left meat that she had ordered from television on her front porch for so long that it rotted. Her neighbors complained to authorities about the nauseating smell, but she herself could not detect it. She probably ate spoiled food regularly and made herself sick. Alcoholism also causes severe brain damage. Like heart and liver damage, brain damage begins sooner and progresses faster in women than men. As these MRIs show, the gray matter in an alcoholic's brain shrinks in volume and the ventricles, or empty spaces, enlarge. Over time, alcohol-induced brain damage can cause confusion, memory loss, personality changes, depression and anxiety, delusions and hallucinations, irreversible dementia, and seizures and strokes. Like all advanced alcoholics, my mother also suffered alcohol-induced brain damage. By the time she died, the damage was profound. She was paralyzed by depression and panic attacks. She also likely met the criteria for Diogenes Syndrome, a severe mental health disorder marked by extreme self-neglect and squalor. She put off seeing the doctor until he refused to renew her prescriptions unless she came in. In the last year of her life, she did not see the doctor at all and probably ran out of medication altogether, hastening her death. In time, she wouldn't go anywhere, except to the liquor store. She also refused to let anyone inside of her house, even when her stove and refrigerator broke and her only toilet backed up. She stopped putting out trash and even bagging it. We suspect that she did not hire repairmen and plumbers out of shame and also fear of being reported to the authorities. I went in her house before you did. 